Okay, so to any of you guys out there doing these 47 to 54 Chevy pickups, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a, um, I'm going to show you how I'm going about, have you seen in the last two videos, you've seen me, I've done the back floor and the back wall, I'm going to show you how I'm going about doing the front cowl area. Now, granted, do your research, because whether I'm doing it right or wrong, I don't know. Um, I'm going by how I think it fits together, how it's going to look the best, and uh, that's that's about all I can tell you. But I'll give you a little insight on it, uh, just in case you're a novice guy out there and you're a little scared here, I'll show you what's going on. So as you can see actually, here I'll just walk you around, you guys are getting caught up. As you can see, we've I, last time you saw it, I was getting ready to primer it. And we've got all the roof and the back pan primered. That's all taken care of. Now what I've done here is down below, I've already kind of tacked in. This is a new piece down here. This is like the hinge pocket area. I've tacked it in. Now what I did was I made sure I took several measurements. I measured from this hole here to the holes up on top of the original one. And then I measured again from even the top holes that are right here up, up again to the original one. And I wrote down several measurements so I had a, 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 a reference point. Now what I've done is I've cut this out and I'm butt welding it in. But before you can do that, there's a, there's a little pocket thing. If you can see it right here, this little thing right here, it spot welds in behind there and the hinge rests in there. So when you cut this piece off, you get this piece off and you put that piece on first. And it's very simple to put on because it's got two holes in it there and a hole down here. So it just so basically just comes in behind. And I'll show you the old one actually here, you'll get a better look. So here's the old piece right here. And you can see what I mean. You can see the, the lighter rusted areas where it was held on. So there's the old piece that I've cut out. Okay. So what I've done is, let's take a look from the back side. What I've done is I've spot welded that in just in place. This piece I've completely welded in solid. You can't really fuck that up because the hole's got to line up. So you can't really fuck it up. So I've spot welded that in place. Now what I'm doing is you can see I've cut the inner, I, whether you want to call it inner cowl area or what do you want to call it, inner kick panel, that's all up to you. I believe they call it a cowl area. What I'm doing is I'm beginning to cut in here now. Now as you can see on the new ones, they have a lip down here below. And what that does is that, that actually, if you see how the floor is angled here, see how the floor is tapering, how it's getting narrow as it comes forward? Let's see if I can do this, hold the camera and do it at the same time. If you get an idea, there you go. See how that fits right in there? That fits in there and goes in there perfectly level. And then of course it goes all up on top here. It, it you know, it, it's it's hard to get in here with one hand, but it goes up underneath and it spot welds. Let me get this back out. It spot welds along on here. You can actually see some of the old factory spot welds in there. So it spot welds along here. And once you get that on, then this is your this is the molding that holds your rubber for around your door, your door seal. It spot welds back on. So that's sort of where you're at. So for any of you guys doing it, I would start with this pocket piece, then get your inner panel on, spot weld everything. Never get carried away, just do four or five spots so if something is fucked up, you can cut the spot welds off. Remember, it's only metal, you can always work with metal. Once that's done, then what you're gonna do, which I haven't gotten to yet, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this piece. Now this piece goes up, I don't know if you can see this guys, I'm sorry about the horrible filming. This piece goes up and behind, and what that is, is that's this whole entire piece all up in here. That's all this. That goes in there. Once you get that in there, then you're left with your cowl patch, which goes up on there. Then you basically rebuilt the whole bottom corner. Now again, before you cut this piece off, take a measurement, not necessarily from the bolt hole, but take a measurement from here to this side and make sure you don't change the door gap opening. Don't change it whatsoever. The last thing you want to do is tighten it up. If anything, you, if anything, if worse comes to worse, if worse comes to worse and this open opening changes a bit from this end to this end, it's better if it gets wider than if it gets narrower. Because if it gets narrower, now you're really screwed. I mean, what are you going to do? You're either going to peen back the edge or you're going to start peening back the door or you're going to start cutting the door, which is just a grief. Or at least if this ended up being a little wider in here for the door gap, you can always weld a thin piece of metal in there and do your body work and you've you've solved the situation. Not that that's what you want to have to do, but I'm just saying, if you get to that point, don't fucking panic. So, that is what's going on right there. So there's the cab, you can see the firewall's all out, like I say, we've got the roof all primer, we've got the back of the cab primer, it's in its rough in stage with 80 grit 
for the body work and uh, we're just going to slowly get it to that point. Okay, once I get a few more things welded up here, I'll get back to you guys. I'll kind of show you a few more tips. I wish I could leave the camera on while I'm doing this, but you know, it's just out there. It's going to get full of shit. It's going to get full of dust. And it, it, I just have to edit this video all fucking day long. And like I say, we're a working shop. Unfortunately, I don't have time for that. I'm not the guys on TV where I got people to do that for me. So I'll get back to you. Hopefully that explains a lot. And I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, guys. So on the next step here, we've left off with this piece. I've completely welded it across like I told you. That was the first step to get the uh, pocket in. Then what I did, because the firewall was out, now there might be a different way to go about this if the firewall's in, but if your firewall's out, the next step was, like I said, I have now put in, what do you call it, either the inner cowl panel or kick panel, whatever you prefer to call it, I've got that put in. Now this is the, this is the little rail thing, and what this does is this is what your, your door seal, your rubber goes into, and that's just spot welded on. So I had just... I had just drilled out the spot welds and I kind of pulled it off to the side. You might have seen it hanging there earlier. So what I did was I spot welded this piece back on in behind here. And now I spot welded this piece back on. I've welded it up solid across the top here. And now in here, nothing happens because when the firewall goes on, it kind of pinches over this like that. I just did a couple welds down here just in case I'm into problems, but I think it's working out perfect. I took lots of measurements. Now my next step on this is I'm going to be cutting out this whole section here. Now this piece is actually this piece you see on the floor. There you are. And they call that the cowl brace. And what that does, if you can see this, that's going to go up in there. Then after that's in, then oh, your lower cowl panel is going to go on. So that's the last thing to go on. So next I'm going to get this cut out of here. I'm going to cut it up and along here and get that out of there and uh, put this other piece on and see where we go from there. So I will get that on and then I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so I cut now. the shit piece out here. Actually, hang on a second. I got to turn the radio down. They get mad at me and I got Elvis on right now and I got to talk loud because if YouTube hears me at the Elvis on, they'll fucking ban me like they did before. Okay, anyway, that's a different story, different time, please. Anyway, here is, here's the old one. I just cut it out. So you can sort of get a glimpse of it. Now do you see here, if you see here it's got an indentation. Okay, now that indentation is this piece here we were talking about earlier. This is one of the very first pieces I told you that welds onto the back of this, into the pocket. And that welds on there, you just spot weld it on. Well that indentation actually, if you can see in there, my finger is that there is kind of lining up with that. That's why they do that. Now another way I know you're kind of getting it right, but don't ever go by this because it is aftermarket parts. On the inner panel, on the floor, there's a hole through it. And there's a hole through this panel that we're putting on. Here, I'll show you on the one I haven't installed yet. Oh, this one hasn't got it. Never mind. I've lied to you. But anyway, there you go. So it kind of lines up that way. Now. They usually come a bit longer because you can see how much longer this is. Um, if I actually compare it to the old one here, if I hold the old one up, it's it's there. You go. It's like a couple inches longer. So I guess they get you know they just they just bang them out and you know that's it's better longer than shorter, right? You can always cut. You, at least you can cut that down. So my next step here, what I'm doing next is I'm kind of fitting this on. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it held in with some vice grips or whatever we got laying around the shop here. And then I'm going to try and lay this panel on just over top. It won't fit properly, but it will give me an idea where I'm going before I get too carried away with welding this on. So um, once I know this is where this goes, then what I'll probably do is I'll probably drill a few holes in it so I can, I can have an area to spot weld it in. Because like I say, it welds onto this panel. And that's the panel I just showed you we put on. That's your inner cowl. So hopefully this is helping some of you guys out that are novice guys that don't know what's going on. To the guys that have done these trucks before, hey, um, this is the way I'm going about it, whether it's right or wrong, like I say. Uh, I, I really don't know. I don't want to pretend like I'm the guy that knows it all, but it's working for me. Everything's lining up per properly, and uh, it seems to be fine. So there we go. So we'll get back to you when we get this piece all welded on, and we'll show you how the other cowl patch, the last patch of the day, is going to go. Okay, guys, if you can see here, what I've done is I showed you this. It's a little longer than what it's supposed to be. So obviously, I'm going to trim this back up in here. Sorry about the horrible camera work. I'm going to trim that back after. But what I've done 
is I've, I've spot welded this panel on now. This piece, your inner piece, is all spot welded on. Then what's going to come next is now I'm going to try and fit this panel on. That's the next step, is to fit that panel on. Now if you remember earlier, I had just the half lower panel. Well, the truck was so rotten up in this area, I just decided to set those panels aside the customer had brought me, and I went out and I bought the full panel. This is the full panel that actually goes right up into where your hood would go. So what happens is, they got here, they got a factory seam here where it's leaded. So I got rid of the lead, and then there's some spot welds, and I got rid of those, and now you can see I got a few more spot welds I'm drilling out here. There's a piece of metal in behind there, which is this piece on the floor again, like I showed you. I'll pull that out. This will slip up into place and then I'll make sure that it fits in there. Now when doing this, you have to make sure when this piece goes on, as you can see, if you see that, this is horrible camera work today I'm doing. You have to make sure that from this lip on this opening to this lip, you want to take measurements right across this whole opening to make sure you're not tightening it up because like I'm saying, don't forget the door's got to fit back in there. Now nothing should have moved because I've got it braced anyway, but it doesn't hurt. Take lots of measurements to make sure you're doing it right. So that's where we're at right now. So this is the last and final piece I'm going to put on. Now of course before I do that, I'm going to get in behind here, put some rust treatment stuff on here. I'm going to let her dry up and then I'm going to do my nice texture spray while I can get in here because I can't get in there afterwards, right? So I'm going to do all that and I'm going to texture spray all up inside here and of course I'm going to do the back side of this panel. I'm going to do all the texture spray on that and clean that up. You can actually see, if you look carefully, you can see the, the black burning off the inner panels where the spot welds have come through, where I've done the spot welds for this piece. So that's where we're at right now, guys. And I'll get back to you once I get this other okay, panel Okay, guys, so on. here you can see it. I've got the other panel on. I pulled the truck outside so you get a better look of it out in the actual light. So as I was saying, you can see where the factory lead, you can see the indentation here they do on the metal, the factory lead. This panel actually slips up in behind. And then again, it goes up and behind here, and you weld it where the spot welds are. There's still a couple i got to finish off there. I just brought it outside to give you a quick glimpse of what's going on. Say I drilled all the holes down the lip before I put it on, and I spot weld it back in there. So it's all taken care of there. I made sure I took plenty of measurements from this part point here to the other, the other point right in here, just to make sure nothing had moved. Because again, even though this panel lines up and fits on here, don't ever trust aftermarket panels, because they are not correct. If you remember, I meant to I actually meant to tell you guys, if you remember this piece when I was just putting it in the next video, you saw how it hung over longer. Well, some of them from some people, from some manufacturers, I should say, they fit just perfect. And then there's other ones that are too long that you got to cut down. So it just goes to show you, you know, there's all different stuff out there. So take your time. Don't be afraid to take your time. Um, don't let the clock be your determination of how quick you got to get it how quick you got to get it done because if that becomes the case uh, you'll start rushing yourself it'll fuck up something will go wrong and guess what it'll take you longer at the end of the day screwing up all the mess ups than it would have if you just would have went slower at the beginning sometimes I realize that's hard to do you just want to get it done get it finished but trust me it's worth it just to take your time so that's pretty much it you can see we got her all welded up in we got the we got the so we got our inner we put our inner cowl piece on you know, we got our we got our new our new lower hinge pocket piece on, and then of course we got our cowl, whatever the hell they want to call that piece. I don't know, cowl center piece, whatever you want to call it. Then we got our outer cowl section on. So that is it now. So basically, what happens is there's no body work to be done here. Mind you, though, like anything, if you want it to be absolutely poker straight, Dave will block it down. He'll skim coat it. With a, with a thin layer of body filler, he'll skim coat it and then he'll knock down any little highs and lows and that's how you're going to get it perfect. But if you're happy with how this looks and how it feels, which it does feel and look good, because we didn't touch anything there for welding, well you could just sand it and paint it and away you go. And just do your little bit of finishing, finishing work here and of course up in here while you got to. So, that's what's going on there. So the cab is slowly coming together as you can see. So. 
that's it. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Um, I know we don't give a lot of tips out there too often. I hope that one helps you out. I'm not an instructor. I'm by no means a teacher. God, I didn't even finish school myself. You know, I'm a great educated student here that uh, just always was mess messing with cars. And uh, I hope that helps you out somewhat. If you have any questions, you, can, you know how to get hold of us. You know where our website is, oldtimegarage.ca. Get hold of us and uh, we'll try and get back to you. Anyway, that's it. Remember, it's always a good time at Old Time. Big thumbs up. We'll see you next time. And thanks for subscribing, guys.